came across OneWeb, I was really interested in their kind of plan to cover the whole world with their kind of network. And I was really intrigued by that. So I thought it would be a really good experience to come here and uh, visit their headquarters. And I'm really glad that we did. Today we had uh, a school who came in and uh, we, we talked to their CAMSAT team and their 3U satellite team. Uh, and we helped them with, what, with the questions they had and we gave them a small introduction about the company. I've had a little look at some uh, sort of radio sort of things that link up to the antennas. And I found one which has got the like uplink and downlink sort of all together in one package for I think about. There, the, some of the PCBs were about five grand. He said they used ion propulsion for the... Yeah, it's a whole effect thruster. So force equals mass time acceleration. Yeah. I can either spew a lot of mass out at a decent amount of velocity, or I can throw one gas particle, one charged gas particle out at a time at a very high velocity. So it's... CANSAT competition is a small can size satellite competition. So a lot of students will get together and make a very small uh, mock-up satellite and they'll drop it from a drone or a small rocket and they will take some readings from their uh, sensors and then they'll present the data that they get during that small launch and the descent phase. What interests me the most about today was learning about how the satellites work, the new um, second generation satellites coming out that actually will give everyone um, access to network wherever they are, whether you're overseas, whether you're actually on the sea. One unique thing that I would take away from today would probably be that it's more important making sure everyone's together and that everyone knows what they're doing than trying to strive for all these really far-fetched ideas to put in your CANSAT. I think that the students right now, they can play a big impact on the future because they're, they're going to take over from us. Like trying to get the, the next generation motivated to come forward into, into space, I think is the key thing to do right now. These small projects that they're going on, I think they're the key part because they, they try to get involved more people and with more people involved, We'll get better products in the future for everyone and it's going to be the best thing for the future. I'm really impressed by the atmosphere of this working environment. This is kind of my first taste of what it would be like to work in such a company and I'm really inspired now. This was a really good experience for me to look at a future career path that I could go into and how possibly I could go into space engineering.